Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I am here at Pittsfield Rye Bakery at 1010 South Street in Pittsfield with the owner, Ricky. Um, Rick, thanks for doing this today. Hey Mike, thanks for coming back. We hey. loved the video last time, the Ita making the uh, Italian bread. Yes, the Highland. that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, and uh, we got a lot of positive uh, reviews. Awesome. And feedback, and we're very happy that you you came back to uh, to uh, watch the process of us make it our death by chocolate. Yes, this is one that I, I asked you guys if we could do. This is my favorite bread that they have here at Pittsville Rye Bakery. It's death by chocolate. If I die soon, it was because I ate so much of this. <laughs> right. Mike comes in almost every Friday and Saturday and, and picks one up himself. So I, he, he uh, practices what he preaches. Yes, it is delicious. So if you haven't had it, you got to come up on a Friday or Saturday, 9 to 2, and grab some. But we'll be back in a minute. We're going to go through the facility, and I'm going to film the process from beginning to end of making this bread and how it's done. Over here, Mike, we have a very, very dark cocoa. Special, uh, this is hard to find. It's a 70% dark cocoa. It's one of the key ingredients to our chocolate bread. Over here, we have semi-sweet chocolate, a generous amount. And then we have honey, a little bit of sugar. Juan, you ready to start our dough? Yes. Put in the water first. All measured out exactly. Flour is in the hopper here. Now we're getting ready to load dump it. That's 50 pounds of flour, unbleached, unbromated, all purpose flour. You always put the water in first, then the flour. A little bit of oil. This is a proprietary starter, a liquid starter. Also one of the key ingredients. three different spiral mixers. They come from Italy. As you can see, the whole bowl moves and the hook inside, very gentle on the dough. We traditionally mix about one minute and first speed, uh, three minutes in first speed, and about eight minutes in second speed. As you come, if you come a little closer, you can start to see the chocolate incorporate into the dough. The dough will slowly get a little bit darker and darker, again as the dark cocoa incorporates. All of these chocolate bread will be scaled off at 19 ounces to be sold at a pound. Basically you lose up to two, three ounces per pound in the oven and moisture. So you always scale a few extra ounces per pound. Now Juan is adding the yeast. The yeast, of course, helps the dough rise. When we put it into the proof box, basically you want the dough to double in size before it goes into the oven. There are some chocolate bread recipes. There, there might be a traditional white bread and chunks of chocolate. As you can see, this whole recipe is a chocolate-based bread from the color, taste, texture, and smell.
Looking beautiful. Perfect, huh? Okay. Very nice. This machine here is a divider. You put the dough into the hopper. It scales it to a specific weight. Comes out here rectangular. These are 19 ounces. Goes into the conical rounder. It rounds it up. Goes into the, the belt. There's an I-beam. Starts to transfer the dough. You can see the dough and the chocolate bread into these baskets. This side comes down, the opposite side goes up. When it gets to the very top, the whole, the whole tray turns over 180 degrees, the dough ball falls out, the diagonal transfers it to the next section. So, Mike, what you see over here is as the doughs are chocolate bread, dough is transferred and you see this chocolate dough falling out the window onto the transfer belt. Now these will go into the log molder and the chocolate bread is a pan loaf. As you can see, Maria and Candy now take the chocolate and put it into a pan. This will go into the cooler to ferment. And then the oven man will take it and put it in the proof box to bake. In the cooler. After the chocolate bread is fermented, we pull it out of the cooler and we put it into the proof box. This is a proof box, controls the level of heat and humidity. And we'll see it a little bit after the dough is risen and it's ready to go in the oven. Looks perfect, Mark. Thanks, Ricky. So our fruit bread and challah bread is program number 13. We start off baking 390, and then we have two liters of steam here, right here for 32 minutes. Press start, and she's ready to go. This is the steam going into the product. Steam gives the product a little bit of shine. 
settles it down as well. So this is our chocolate bread. We call it death by chocolate. There's 84 loaves on this rack. It takes 32 minutes to bake. You can see the chocolate chunks on top of the dough as well as all throughout. You saw when we mixed it, how many we put in. Very generous portion. The color of the dough, mostly because of that dark, dark cocoa, is very unique. As well as a very unique flavor. Makes delicious French toast, bread pudding. It could be used as a brownie sundae. Flavored cream cheeses, warm it up just as itself. It's a very unique, delicious bread. So Mike, as we did last time you were here, we ran a special, and we'd like to run a special again. If you mention Mike Daly or It's Pittsfield tonight at our store this weekend or uh, for Thanksgiving, any two breads you buy, you get any one loaf free. Um, whether it be uh, two chocolate breads, you can get a free any bread you like, two farmer's breads, rye breads, Italian, mix and match, whatever you like. Uh, we'd love to see you. And um, last time you came, like I said, it was really nice. Our team loved it, and uh, we, we enjoyed the feedback watching the videos and, and going out in the town and hearing different people with their responses. Uh, it, was, it was really interesting. A lot of people didn't realize what the process is or how long it takes and, and what we need to do and, and who we sell to. So it's kind of it's kind of cool and, and fun to uh, see the different people in the community and the different businesses that support and supply each other. Absolutely, and, and the Death by Chocolate is such a unique product that you have. I've never had anything like it anywhere, so I mean, I, this was a blast for me, and I get to go home with some Death by Chocolate. Of course, every time. So 1010 South Street? Every every Friday and Saturday, 9 to 2, our normal store hours. Uh, again, every uh, the day before Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's, are, the, are, are we're also open 9 to 2. So um, we appreciate it. Come on down. We are running. The, we will be running the Mike Daly It's Pittsfield Tonight special this weekend and on Wednesday for Thanksgiving. Hope to see you all out there. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you, Ricky. We, we appreciate seeing you. Absolutely.